I was reading a, an issue of Nature and um, saw this advertisement for a Shell postdoctoral fellowship back at any 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 university. So well, I could perhaps do that in London. It was nothing to do with geology, really. I mean, it was in medical and biological sciences and physics and the whole thing. Anyway, this is where the plate tectonics bit comes in because I, um, I, I started to think about that. So I wrote a bit of a proposal which incorporated that plus, plus mineralization. And so I got one of these things. So I went back to, went back to London um, and, and that was for two years. And before the two years had elapsed, really, I, was, I, 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 I started consulting in, well, enough to, to earn a living, really. Back in Chile? Well, back everywhere, really. Um, it, was, it was a bit of a boom time. This was um, the early 70s in, in the copper industry, so I, I got to see quite a lot of things. And um, I was in Chile and Argentina, but I also went to Africa. I went to, I went to Burma. Um, Were you through Afghanistan and Iran at that time as well? No, that, that, that was, that, well, not, not long after that. Yeah. Not, um, I was in, in, yeah, that's when I did this the marathon trip in, in Afghanistan was a few, that was, really was part of it, I suppose. If I recall correctly, I think that, would, would that have been when you picked up some of those items that you have in your home? That, that's, that's right, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Not all of them, but no. some of those, the, the famous tent bags and yeah. some, some spectacular carpets as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But just, just, just let's refer back yes. before we get totally out of sequence here to, um, to this plate tectonics yes. business. But, um, I was I was trying to trying to keep up a little bit with the with the literature, um, uh, which was not too easy in, in Santiago because the, the the survey that where I was working geological survey didn't take much in the way of foreign literature, but there was a library just over the road which I think was 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 part of a of a, of a medical facility, but they took a lot of a lot of um, a lot of literature which didn't seem to have anything to do with medical science at all. So I used to go over there if I had a, an odd afternoon and, 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 and see what had just come in. And in 1968, there was an issue of the Journal of Geophysical Research, which had three back-to-back -back papers on um, basically plate tectonics as it was underpinned then by, um, by geophysics. So I, bought, I was able to borrow the journal and I took it, took it to the field with me. We were in this tiny house in a place called Con uh, called Conchi, just just north of Calama. And every night, by an oil lamp, I would li lie in my sleeping bag on this on, on this cot with the oil lamp at a, a bit of a rakish angle, so I could sit and read these papers. And they were heavy duty papers. I knew nothing about geophysics, still don't. And, and reading these things, but I got enough of a flavour of all this. You don't have to, to recall to, who yeah, the authors were, yeah. do you? Yeah, it was um, Lynn Sykes, uh, Jack Oliver, um, and another another very well known geophysicist of the time. Anyway, the lead the lead author, author was Jack Oliver. Anyway, okay. so um, so it, it it became very obvious that, that if if this was going to underpin all sorts of geological phenomena around the globe, it had it had to be directly involved with. Um, with uh, mineralization as well. And, and the most obvious one, of course, was porphyry coppers, which I was working on. And they, they were, even then it was pretty obvious that, that, to me at least, that they're all arrayed around the active and, and, and uh, fossil subduction zones around the world. So um, I used to concoct a model which, which tied, tied porphyry coppers to plate tectonics, which of course is a fairly part of the alphabet these days.